advocate. Hi, I'm Waminda. I'm the director of the Healthy Ecosystems uh, Program at the Nature Conservation Council of New South Wales. Um, the Healthy Ecosystem Program um, has been set up or designed to work with um, landholders and across landscapes, looking at building in elements of fire, pest, and uh, a weed management strategy. Uh, currently, we have four programs operating under the Healthy Ecosystem Program. That includes the Hotspots Fire Project, the Bushfire Program, um, the Upper Coldstream Project, and the Fire Sticks Project. Hi, I'm Oliver Costello. Um, I'm the Fire Sticks Project Coordinator. I'd just like to start by acknowledging country, paying my respects to elders past, present, and future. I'm a Bunjalung man. I come from the Northern Rivers of New South Wales, um, where the Fire Sticks Project. Um, works and also works up in the tablelands as well, so takes in a broad sort of environmental cultural landscape. Um, so the Fire Sticks project's um, intent is to support um, Aboriginal land managers and landowners to practice um, fire management based on their cultural values. So it's really about supporting cultural burning, you know, delivering on the objectives of um, culture and how they manage their landscape and being able to support um, best practice contemporary fire management so being involved in sort of risk management planning and ecological um, restoration management. You know, the highlight of the working on the Fire Six project is being out on country with the rangers and seeing um, them empowered, seeing how they are being recognised for their knowledge, sharing their knowledge, passing on their knowledge within their own cultural framework with their peers, you know, like, you know, kids and young ones learning from uncles and aunties and but also with other other Aboriginal groups and non-Aboriginal people as well just being able to see that that the power of learning on country. Hey I'm Silas Telford, Fire Sticks Operations Officer uh, for Jali and Minyamwa and we're looking at ways of invigorating fire back into the cultural landscape. One of the roles that Fire Sticks plays is uh, in terms of cultural values is working with the rangers to identify their assets uh, in terms of cultural significance and we can look at ways of planning how we can protect those whether it's a scar tree or midden and look at ways uh, identifying major threats and also potential management issues, um, ma management practices that can be used to protect these assets. I'm David Millage and uh, I'm the fire sticks ecologist and uh, I'm conducting monitoring of selected vertebrate animal groups as part of the Fire Sticks project, the IPAs are really important for biodiversity conservation. They're part of the, the uh, National Reserve System. And the results we've been getting are incredibly rich. We're showing that uh, they're supporting really uh, a fantastic diversity of the animal groups, the vertebrate groups that we're sampling. Very high numbers of uh, species and very high numbers of individuals amongst some of the, the vertebrate groups. So uh, we're really working in, in fabulously rich areas. We're working with uh, the indigenous ranges, of course, to see the, uh, the enjoyment and um, the actual uh, uh, empowerment that they get from doing this work is really encouraging and uh, really, really, really satisfying. One of the fabulous aspects of um, seeing this program in action has been um, seeing fire as a catalyst, if you like, for helping um, or assisting people to reconnect with their land. Yeah, hi, I'm Richie Brittingham. Um, I've been working with the Nature Conservation Council for about the last eight months on the Fire Sticks project funded under the Biodiversity Fund. I would say that probably the, the number one highlight was the training that we organised at the Yarrawarra Cultural Centre. Um, we had a really strong participation there by um, rangers and Aboriginal representatives from nearly all our project partners and it was a fabulous opportunity for people to share um, stories and to share skills and knowledge of country. The Fire Sticks program is value adding and bringing in um, more opportunity and um, more expertise to, yeah, as I said, reconnect to the land and build skills and build confidence around using fire as a management tool to look after um, their cultural heritage values and um, the ecological values uh, on the land. My name's Josh Keating. I'm the project coordinator for the Upper Coldstream project. 
the Upper Cold Stream is a nationally significant area of um, the north coast of New South Wales and we're working with 44 landholders to manage weeds, pest and fire issues across that landscape. The project's a partnership with the Clarence Environment Centre and essentially evolved from the Land for Wildlife Network. So one of the big threats that we're dealing with is, is weeds and in particular lantana and lantana suppresses native vegetation but it also stops um, a lot of wildlife um, being able to move freely across the landscape and one of the the key species that we're dealing with is the, the coastal emu and being able to open up more areas for those emus to forage and um, more pathways for them to both move across the landscape and also escape from predators and, and issues such as um, wildfire um, is, is a great outcome. I'm Mark Graham, I'm a project ecologist working on the Upper Coldstream project. As the ecologist, I do a lot of the, uh, the survey work and working with landholders to educate them about the values of the lands that they're the custodians of. So we look at using a range of tools and techniques to survey uh, particularly the wildlife, looking at using camera traps and spotlighting techniques to look at particularly important areas, to look at the movement of wildlife, to do surveys for native plants and uh, surveys for the few weeds that are there so that we can identify where those weeds are and develop strategies to, uh, to manage those weeds. There are well over 100 threatened species in our project area. That's the greatest diversity of any catchment in New South Wales at any rate. It's nothing short of a, uh, a treasure trove of nature. As well as being the ecologist with the Upper Coldstream project, I'm one of the two ecologists with the Hotspots Fire project. Um, my name is Kate Shay and I'm the Hotspots Project Coordinator for the Nature Conservation Council. I've been working with the program since 2008. The Hotspots Fire Project is co-delivered by the Nature Conservation Council and the New South Wales Rural Fire Service and it's a collaboration of nine project partners in total. Um, Hotspots is about working with rural landholders to uh, implement sustainable fire management plans. So there's a, it's delivered over two workshops. Um, first is to introduce fire ecology principles and the second is to target the um, op operational aspects of um, how to implement a safe, controlled small burn on the property. Ke I'm Kevin Taylor, project ecologist with Hotspots. As the ecologist, the Hotspots Fire Project. I help select the sites for the workshops and uh, prepare reports on the ecological values and the implications of fire and also help landholders prepare fire management plans at the workshops. Several highlights, um, uh, some of the bigger workshops we've had 50 people and 40 people and times that towards the end we just looked around and everybody was was all talking to each other all about fire and it wasn't it wasn't us talking to them they were you could tell they were going to take it with them once we left. Uh, my name's Greg Banks I'm with the bushfire program um, as part of the healthy ecosystems program. I generally work in the policy area but we also work in bushfire workshops for the community particularly in peri-urban areas. So there's two um, different themes that have been running through some of our recent workshops that we've been delivering. Firstly, there's been a theme around creating habitat. And so, for example, we've run a workshop recently up in Tweed around creating habitat for koalas. Um, the other workshops that have been particularly uh, well received at the moment and really popular are workshops around using fire as a restoration tool. Hi, I'm Michelle and I'm the Bush Fire Program Coordinator. I guess the thing for me is to see that level of community interest um, in the work that we're doing. We put on events and programs for people and the level of interest that there just shows the amount of enthusiasm and that people are really interested to hear how they can, um, how they don't have to separate managing bushland for bushfire um, from actually having some ecological values at the same time. I think people are very interested in the fact that you can think about those two things together rather than needing to separate them. I've been in the uh, bushfire game now for the last 20 years plus um, and I've seen a lot of changes in that time. One of the things that I have um, found interesting and I've also found it quite profound in the last two or three years 
is the numbers of younger people that are moving into it and they have the enthusiasm and the knowledge that I wish I had when I was at their age. Um, it leaves me with a little bit of, of, of uh, hope that they will be able to take over where and do things that I perhaps haven't been able to achieve. Um, so NCC has been at the forefront of that. Thing. So there's a good there's a good story there for NCC. What we're trying to do is get people to reflect on how it feels to be on country, how it feels to learn and share um, on country with with people, with plants, with animals. Looking at you know the, the country as a holistic. Um, framework that we were a part of and then how we can learn from that. It's just really wonderful to see the, the growth of the Healthy Ecosystems program through the commencement of a series of projects. Um, it's really lovely to be involved in them and to see projects uh, operating which have an opportunity to make healthy landscapes even healthier and more resilient and robust in the face of climate change and an awful lot of pressures that are arising from human impacts. And I think that's at the core of the Healthy Ecosystems program. It's to look where there are healthy uh, landscapes, healthy ecosystems and healthy communities and help them to remain as such or to make them even healthier because that's what we're going to have to do to hang on to our internationally significant biodiversity. If we don't do that, we face catastrophic decline.